Hey guys, you might be wondering why your store is freaking out about the distribution prices. So to pre-order on Commander Masters and Lord of the Rings sets, I have never seen a price this high before. And when you own a store, there is obviously a lot of risk. Um, there are one of the biggest things that can make your store lose money is when you buy into a product, you put all your eggs into one basket. No, it's like a double-edged sword, right? You put all your eggs into one basket and then suddenly that basket doesn't sell. And Dragon Maze is a very good example of this. But uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, Commander Masters, I mean, it is one of these dangerous things because it's so expensive per box. And that's what I don't like about it. Um, instead of being a cheaper risk, uh, it is a expensive risk because if it doesn't sell, those boxes are not $100 boxes you're holding on to, they're $400 boxes. And you can understand how that can get out of control quite easily. Now, on top of, you know, the distribution prices being so high, you have to deal with Amazon. Um, Amazon will undercut you. Now, it won't be on the day of release, it won't be on the week of release, it won't be maybe even a month upon release, but at some point in time, the window closes where you can actually sell these boxes for profit, and now you're just you know being undercut by Amazon. Uh, a lot of local game stores, they will tell you this, they buy old boxes off Amazon, not from their distributor, because their distributor charge way more money for those older boxes than Amazon does. I think that's going to continue to happen. The Wizard of Coast partnership with Amazon is very weird. Um, I don't really know how to say it. It just seems like they're using Amazon as like a clearance warehouse where things go, if, if things are going on Amazon, it is likely to be heavily discounted at some time in the future. Um, and maybe there's a timetable that Amazon works out with Wizard of Coast because clearly they're selling below MSRP, clearly they're selling below distribution prices, and I'm positive they're not selling at a loss given that I, I sell items on Amazon. Amazon takes 20% straight off the top. So if you sell an anime figure for $100, 20% goes to Amazon. If you wanna use Amazon Prime and shipping, you pay for that too. So in total, you're probably out 30% with the storage fees and the shipping fees and obviously Amazon's 20% on top. If you don't, if you're not able to sell something fast enough, then the storage fees really do hike up, right? You have your little cubicle of things that you're trying to sell. I think um, in terms of the these sets, they have a lot of risk. And the risk is just how expensive these sets are. These are not cheap investment. I mean, I don't even wanna say that they're investments, they're just not cheap. And when you put that much money into something, it can go wrong very quickly. Because uh, a store is not like an individual. A store is not gonna buy a box or two and sit on it. A store is buying pallets of this stuff. And if it's Dragon Maze and you bought a pallet of Dragon Maze and you cannot sell it, uh, as we learned, you know, Dragon Maze was a long, long time ago. It still doesn't sell. It's still impossible to sell or move. So it's not like, okay, this thing is getting old enough and suddenly we can sell it. If you can't sell it within the first month of release, you're never gonna be able to sell it. And that's the honest, that's the scary part. And you add to the factor, you're adding other IPs to it, Lord of the Rings, Commander Master, I mean, you reprint sets. You don't know, I, like I said, you don't know quadruple masters, triple masters is probably on the way and it makes your double masters product look like shit because it's the same reprints, but they just gave you an extra mythic. And, and that's how I feel about these reprint products because like how creative, how drastically different can these reprint products be when the reprints are exactly the same. You got Tomogoyf, I, I noticed they took him out since he's not valuable anymore. But there's only so many times you can reprint Tomogorf as your chase before Tomogorf becomes worthless. It's pretty savage in my, in my personal opinion. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye guys.